Uh, you doing okay there, princess? Y you need some help? Okay. Uh, nope, nope, we're not gonna pick that up, I'll tell you that right now. We're gonna go ahead and take care of this while we have the opportunity. Oh, right, right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, we were... Oh! <gasps> Yay! Yes, please! Okay, uh, what do I want to do here? Boomerang damages even far away Pokemon two times in a row. What this distance is, specifically, don't know. But... Oh, I... Well, Smackdown is definitely useful, so keeping that, we'll get rid of Bone Club. I'm being told it's 10 tiles range? Oh, it actually says range right there. Well, dang. I, I, I don't know why I missed that. I'm always looking at the info for information on the range. But, wow. 10 tiles away and piercing, which means probably I can throw it through walls. I gotta try this out. I see somebody coming. Missed the one time, but hey, two times to attack, two chances. Okay, this is fun. I'm just gonna throw this a bunch for a bit. Oh, the sleeping swine up. Yeah, we're gonna do a swap here because healing items are good to have on hand. Training seed. Ow! But yeah, hold on a sec. Oh man. Okay, I need to eat this on the next floor. Let's drop something else. Natty says, okay, with, so with that discovery about Bone Meringue, I'm going to suggest you never forget it. Okay, be sure to remind me. Oh boy. Well, here I am once again taking the lead because this thing is cool. There needs to be, like, a zoom option. Because I can't tell if I'm, like, diagonal to... Eh, let's try it. Nope, it does not go through walls. And that's certainly a thing. Are you going to be coming towards us? You're coming towards us. And I'm just going to keep doing this. Oh, wait, what am I thinking? Let's use the thing that I just said that we need to be doing. Maddie's pointing out that it pierces foes. That makes more sense. I was thinking walls. Are we being chased? We are totally being chased. Okay, does this hit teammates? No, it does not. So I'm just gonna do this a couple times. That works. Oh, of course, there's a trading training switch right here. So, earlier I was asking quite a question. We came to realize that we are in a world with no internet. And it's like, would you live in this world Would you be willing to live in this world knowing that there's no internet? My answer is... Probably? I think the trickier thing to get used to would be...
not having video games. I could live without the internet. I have lived without the internet. But I've been playing video games my entire life. Like, no joke, I was told that I was playing video games when I was one. Literally playing video games longer than I can remember. Still, would I be willing to give up video games for the sake of... No, guys, let's not fight that, please. Let's move away. Everybody move away. While I quickly upgrade my thing there. And second thought, I don't know why I was just trying to rush us off because, you know, it's not coming to attack us. But I think it would be worth being a Pokemon, even if it meant no more video games. Though it would be nice if somebody invented video games while I was living in this world. I suppose first, somebody would have to invent TVs. That's another thing we haven't seen in this world. That's such an interesting thought. Air quality notorious healing. The rate at which HP restores naturally is sped up. Rare qualities. Would be nice if we could get Pinky to have that. So it's almost like we're living in medieval times, or rather, this world. I'm currently like in medieval times because there's like no electricity outside of electricity Pokemon are able to produce on their own. No TV, no internet, no video games. And yet, I'd still be pretty interested in living in this world. Now, if I had my choice of a Pokemon I would l want to live in this world, I of course want to be a Nidoran female. As I said, it's my favorite Pokemon. And in fact, we're here in this forest trying to rescue a Nidoran. I think in this case, a Nidoran male. Still a Nidoran, though. I suppose, given the circumstances, if I really were becoming a Nidoran, video games would not really be much of an option for me without hands. Mind you, I'm sure I could figure out how to play video games with paws. Maddie, of course, wants to be, would want to be a Rattata. Also, in regards to living in this world, Maddie says, I might if I'm able to help out like this. You know, if not for Catfish asking me, I would not have started a rescue team. I'd just be sitting in my cave safely, that sort of thing. I suppose sitting in my cave all day would get kind of boring, so I would likely go exploring around. Which would probably result in me needing rescued at some point anyway. Swartback says, wasn't Catfish the one who got you set up with that cave? Indeed! Catfish was the one who helped me out with that. Definitely owe her for that. Which actually kind of made it all the more difficult to say no to starting a rescue team. I have trouble saying no sometimes. I 
Oh, there's a neater in mail. But not before we have one of these situations again. Okay, we have rescued you from the Skyther. And that is the end of that. Ty says, I would probably like to be an RK9. So floofy. You know, they really are. I'd imagine, though, that you would have to start out as a Growlithe, much like I'm having to start out as a Cubone instead of a Marowak. Wow, that is certainly a handy ability. We already have a Growlithe. And I ain't replacing Pinky. What is the deal with that box anyway? That is kind of weird. Oh, I just remembered something. We can swap items on the world map. Ah, look at them too. They are lovebirds too. That's not Princess, by the way. That was uh, the Nidoran who asked us to help find her boyfriend. <sighs> Another day. Mm. Well, I think it's safe to say that we've lost our opportunity to go on these, uh, or catch up on rescue missions. Switching leaders. Bloody blah, blah, stuff I already know. Seven Wonders of Pokemon. Curious. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Let's go over these, shall we? Number one. The Mysterious Feet of Diglett. Having played Generation 1, it is safe to assume that Diglett have feet because in the house that was robbed by Team Rocket, you can see Diglett's footprints all over the place. Number two, what is inside Fort Fortress's shell? That is a question I've never really thought of. Number three, the intelligence of Giraffe Rig's tail. This is probably the question that I am most interested in. Here's a weird thought. If I were to become a Giraffe Rig, I might be interested in the t being specifically the tail, because I'm into weird things like that. Depending on how intelligent we are talking. I mean, if I got to keep my human level intelligence, sure. But I've also read that as far as intelligence goes, Giraffarix Tail does not have very much. It is even questionable whether Giraffarix Tail is sentient. More, it might be along the lines of it just has this instinct to scream at things that are approaching Giraffarix from behind. Our box variety of patterns. That is an interesting thing that I've heard, but I've never noticed myself, but apparently Arbok has a different pattern in, in each generation. We await reader submissions to finish our list of Pokemon mysteries. Wait, you mean you don't even have some from Wonders? You're just hoping that you'll collect more? Take me, Thunderwave Cave. We promise to meet in a dungeon. Someone please escort me. Reward is a perfect apple. Escort to Dragon Knight. Maybe sometime. 
Okay, I just remembered something that I want to do. Let's see here. Scorch Plains. We're gonna... Okay, first off, I really like that sprite. I'm gonna give Pinky a rainbow gummy. In the hopes of gaining a nice thing. In fact, let's go to overview. You do not have a rare quality. We're trying to give you a rare quality. Special attack up by three. That is nice. But no rare quality. Maybe next time. By the way, here is the option to change nicknames. Okay. Accepted jobs. Thunderwave Cave. We got two in Thunderwave Cave. Let's go ahead and head there real quick. We can actually finish up the jobs. Both of the remaining jobs on my list are in Thunderwave Cave. Let's do this. Thunderwave Cave. Uh, who to bring along? Maybe not Princess. And we won't bring Maddie because Maddie's run off to start his stream. Ruxpin, you're at a low level. Let's just kind of make this simple. We'll bring Ninji again. Somebody else who can resist those electric attacks. The client swine up is with you. Oh, that's right. That's a th one thing we're doing. Meanwhile, Maxi either- Oh, I forgot to swap out items. We can do that on the world map. Oh, well. Catfish, take the lead here. Well, I have some fun with this bone. Oh, goody, more gravel rocks. Never mind. Ventry's full. And do we really need a gravel rock when I can... Where's a Pokemon to throw this at? I can do this? I mean, how awesome is this? Oh, I tell you what. I am way better at throwing a bone meringue than I am... An actual boomerang. I've tried throwing an actual boomerang, and boy, I say that I am, and I miss with it. But I've tried throwing an actual boom boomerang, and it did not come back. It didn't like me. But to throw this thing, it's like natural skill. I have become so adept at this bone that I've been carrying around for these past more than two weeks that I can just throw this around with skill. That's pretty cool. And this is why I picked up that cherry berry. So this metatype needs the cherry berry because it's been having trouble sleeping. Boy, I can relate. I mean, I've been sleeping pretty well as... a Q-bone, at least for the most part. But I've definitely had some trouble sleeping at times. Hold on, I'm gonna thwack this ball. You know, it just occurred to me, there are Voltorbs in this world. In this world where Pokeballs are not a thing. Man, if I ever get a Voltorb on my team, I'm going to tell them the story of how in another world, humans use these devices that happen to look like Voltorbs in order to capture and train Pokemon. Yeah, castle out of that. Swinub, come over here, please. I said, Swinub, come over here, please. 
Oh boy, the last time I encountered a Dragon Knight, I got my tail whipped. So it's kind of nice to be coming along to a friendly Dragon Knight. Oh, another Rainbow Gumby. Awesome! Boy, you've been having sleepless nights for far too long. Glad I can finally help you. You know, it never occurs to me that Dragon Eyes are not actually that big, apparently. Either that or Swine Lips are not actually that small. Still bigger than I am, though. Didn't we do good today? Yeah, we've actually been doing good the past few days. So, actually, this was, uh, overall a pretty good stream, I would say. But it is time for us to kind of end things here. Ooh! Hold on a sec. Don't leave. First off, I'm gonna be sending you all on a raid to Maddie Ratty. Second, this is a new one. We haven't seen this picture yet. That's a nice picture. Oh boy, imagine if I had wound up becoming a Torchic. I'd have no hands. Or even pause for that matter. That would be quite an experience. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end things here. And those of you here at Twitch, like I said, I'm sending you on a raid to Maddie Ready. And for everybody in the general, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.